Top 5 pen mods which beginners should not take as their first and main pen mods. Entry to pen spinning is pretty high. It is not a very easy skill. And you begin to get fun from this hobby when you start to link tricks and make combos. To get to this level easier, with much more fun and without risking of quitting for the wrong reasons, you'd better use a properly made tools for pen spinning. These five pen mods are very popular among beginners, they take them very often, unfortunately, and they can ward you of getting to the point when pen spinning can show you and open its full awesomeness. Great thanks to all the members who joined the membership of Penstock and become insiders. Great shout out to Mark Allen, Dale's channel, Kevin Lamier Bao, Palm and Virgin24. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, go and check the button join under this video. And to begin with, I will start with self pen mods. Yes, everyone begins with them, but to enjoy pen spinning it is not enough at all. All. Many times I saw beginners quitting pen spinners because of using self pen mods and after they got properly made pen mods they more likely to come back and begin to have some fun finally. A waterfall or flying panda or a van mod, whatever pen mod you use it is going to be better than that. As a beginner you can't actually make anything decent. You just don't know how to do it. 9 beginners self mod out of 10 are unusable crap. Not this one though, this is okay, but I've modified it after I got my Dr. CT. Before it was unspinnable as well. I'm not talking about all self pen mod, I'm talking only about beginner ones. Either they are too light, either they are too heavy, they are unbalanced, and either they have no momentum or they have crazy momentum, which is not good as well. Guys, if you try skateboarding, if you try to play guitar, you don't make skateboard or guitar by yourself, right? When you're jumping such a hard hobby as pen spinning, you think that using this is okay. And I put the self mods on fifth place because we all start with them. And soon enough we put them in a, on a shelf or throw them in a garbage bin. Either way we don't use them anymore. And what's important is what are you going to do after that. In 80% people quit without even getting to the point when they can find what's so special about pen spinning. The rest 20 replace them with some properly made pen mods and those people finally get understanding about pen spinning and then they can decide actually is it for them or it is not for them. The second category of pen mods which beginners should avoid is LED family. Any LED, right now I have Dorian LED and LED EST, doesn't matter. The most popular LED pen mod among beginners is bicycle LED. Whoa, so cheap, whoa, glows in the dark, so beautiful spin effect and unique experience. Everything is so true as it comes for LED pen mods, but all this works only for skilled pen spinners at least intermediate ones. And also nobody uses LED pen mods as their main pen mods for learning tricks. They are very good for messing around, for having a lot of fun. And as for bicycle LED pen mod, it is pretty peculiar and at least requires very high skill. LED pen mods are a bit appropriate as it, when it comes to Dorian LED pen mod, which you actually can use. But I would not recommend it and they are extremely popular among beginners. And stay away from bicycle LED if you're a beginner, don't look at their price, they are good only just an addition to your main pen mod. Yeah, these pen mods are bad for beginners, but you know guys which pen mods are good for you? To find them you just need to go to penstock.net, pen mods area and filter good for beginners. Yes. Show. Boom! These pen mods I recommend you for any beginner. Pick any of them and you're not going to be disappointed. The third place goes to Tornado. Rookies. Cheap doesn't mean that it is designed for you. Tornado is not a bad pen mod. By all means it is not. Before I used to hate it, but now I really don't. It's fun to 
mess around with and probably to develop your style. It looks cool and also it, it feels its body is like, well, that's a topic for another separate video review of this pen mod. It's not bad, but it's not good for beginners because it is too light and actually doesn't have enough momentum. And as a rookie you need momentum. I always feel but hurt when people order it as one pen mod for their order. Because it is okay to take as an addition to Ivan mod, Waterfall, Flying Panda or something like that. But as a separate, I don't think that anyone, anyone uses Tornado as the, it, his main pen mod. Question of the day. Leave me a comment and let me know in the second in the comment section below if you have ever taken a pen mod and regretted it. Which pen mod was that and why did you regret it? It is very interesting to find out. The second place goes to Jigao. <laughs> I don't know, some of you guys thought that Jigao is going to go to the first place. No, it's just this at, at the second. Such a piece of crap doesn't deserve first place anywhere. I've tried several versions of Jigao, about five or seven different versions, all of them were sh I often, really often see comments when people tell me that Alex, Alex, I have Jigao and it is, it is fine. Often I ask this person, what do you compare it with? Which pen mods do you have in your collection? And always they say, mm, I don't have any, but then when such guys receive an actual properly made pen mod, they always go like, oh my god, how could I be so wrong and throw them away. I don't throw these two as a reminder to show you guys them from time to time. When you replace Jigao pen mod with something more appropriate for you, for anyone, you begin to live. When you don't replace Jigao with something else, you leave pen spinning. And the first place goes to... RSVPMX, guys. Well, beginners take them much less frequently when, than they used to. Maybe my video about uh, this pen mod for beginners played some role in that. But they still do. RSVP mix, guys, is not a bad pen mod, but it is for very skilled pen spinners. And not even all the skilled pen spinners can spin RSVP mix, maybe 20% of them, because it is more pe peculiar than bicycle LED even. Why is it worse than Tornado? For beginners, Tornado doesn't have momentum as well as RSVP mix, but it, at least it has center balance. Why is why is RSVP MX worse for you than Jigao Pan Mod? Jigao Pan Mod have momentum. It is completely unpredictable and uncontrollable, but there is momentum. RSVP MX doesn't have it. So all in all, this is the worst choice you can ever make while being a rookie. Don't pick up RSVP MX, guys, unless you don't know what you take and what you take it for. And as a tiny little bonus for those of you who have managed to watch this video till this point, avoid writable pen mods. They are not good for anyone, not only for rookies, but for any pen spinners. And even if you take pen mods with ink inside, like Flower V4 or Flower Serial, take ink outside. There are several reasons to do that, and one of the strongest reason is that ink is going to leak. And also it kills good balance and good momentum of a pen mod. Leave a like to this video if you liked it, leave a dislike if you didn't like it. Either way, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet, and press the bell notification button. May this tell be with you guys. Bye.